you know what grinds my gears this is my new place by the way here i'm out here in wisconsin i'll be working uh i'll be working the bees this is beautiful wisconsin uh just outside of sheboygan and uh so it's actually a pretty nice place we got uh heavy machinery place it's a farm it's it's a farm it's a regular farm something that you know what pisses me off you know what really grinds my gears and gets me going man is this whole climate change thing okay it just happens to be pretty cool up here right now it's the end of september actually it's the middle of september here and there uh what a beautiful place huh got the uh, old glory right there yeah um look science is not a democracy okay it's a pass fail situation it's not let's put it to a vote you don't put you don't put the livelihoods of uh probably two billion people being taxed half to death uh to a vote because you know who's going to be voting for this? These people ain't got a damn job. You know, it, 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 it doesn't do anything for the science. In fact, it, it undermines science altogether. You guys are, oh, it's science. No, it's not. This is a popularity contest. It's like, let's see, uh, you know, uh, let's go ahead and uh, put it to a vote. What do you believe? What do you believe? It's not a it's not it's not a belief system. Science isn't what you believe. You know? It's not. It's not what you believe. It either passes the test or it fails the test. There is no in between. Well, maybe this, maybe that. The science is flawed. There's it's incomplete. The science is flawed because it's incomplete. You know, we can't go around. What does that tell the kids? That science is fluid. It's fluid. It's just whatever. Science is just whatever. You know what kind of precedence that sense for the future? Future science? The, the, I swear to God, the, the Chinese and Japanese are laughing at us right now because of what you people are doing. You're, you're making a mockery out of science. You know, Darwin. You're making a mockery out of Darwin. You're claiming that people... Uh are irresponsible enough to hurt the earth not only can we take the place out but we can somehow fix it through taxes huh. that's just come on man the science is flawed it's incomplete is what it is there hasn't been enough data done and more research and that's what this is all about more research more research we need to do more research well research costs freaking money you know Here's what happens. You, you give a college money, and then the students take out loans and give the college money, and then, and then, and then or, or are given grants. The students are given grants through taxes, and they end up doing all the research. The, 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 the college professor who's tenured says, oh, yeah, well, it's a, it's a problem, and we need to figure out how big the problem is. And now the kids are scared as hell, trying to scramble. It's a problem. It's a problem. We call you people alarmists. You, you guys are. You guys pulled the fire alarm because you think you might have smelled smoke. You didn't see smoke. You sure didn't see no fire. But you went and pulled the fire alarm. You know that's what you guys are doing. That's the, the equivalent to it. On a global scale, you got this Greta Thunberg. Creek. She's 16 years old. She don't know shit. Made me swear. She don't know nothing about the world. She's going by what she was told and what she was taught by her older people. Her elders are teaching her, oh, the world's on fire. And there's nothing you can do about it. Look at this. We're all doomed. There's a monster under your bed. There's nothing you can do about it. Ah, boo. They're scared the shit out of her, man. Look at her. She's 16 years old, ready to have ulcers. You know, who does that? That's some cruel shit right there. Made me swear. Come on, people. Don't teach your kids this stuff. Teach them to love one another, not hate one another. That's all you're doing. And someone says, hey, wait a minute. The facts aren't all in the end. You know, have you guys, like, accounted for solar flares and sunspots for heating and cooling of the earth? No. That's not, somehow that slipped the computer models. You know, those are called variables. 
They're called uh, free radicals. You know, they, they, they fuck equation. It's that it, it fucks up an equation. Maybe swear again. You know, if if, if if Einstein sat there and says, well, you know, da da da, and then he like put a plus and then put a and then and then rubbed it out and turned it into a division sign, wouldn't his equation be screwed up? Well, that's what you guys are doing. You, you, you got to be accurate when it comes to science. You can't just put it to a popular vote. You're going to get some little 16 year old kid saying, "Yeah, I vote. I vote that we uh, we shut down." Uh, you know, in fact, I, I, hey man, I I'm not a big fan of uh, Rockefeller. You know, the guy was a, the guy was a, a monster uh, as far as business goes. He changed he changed uh, capitalism. He did change capitalism. There wasn't uh, there couldn't be a hundred companies. There had to be one. So he bought up all the companies. There's a whole, I could do 20 videos on David Rockefeller. You know, he did screw up uh, capitalism real good. He did screw it up uh, pretty much for, for all of us uh, as far as greedy people go. You know? And he, I, I blame that on his pastor, but uh, that's just me. You know, the rigid, I'm a uh, uh, little thingy thing from here in Wisconsin. And much love, y'all. Much peace. Chicken grease.